Check this propeller jig out. I was on Tackle Warehouse, I was surfing around and I saw this crazy lure right here and I was like, yo, what if I make a smaller version of it? Just, just without the skirt and everything. And I was like, how can I even get it together? And <laughs> here it is, look at that. Looks crazy, eh? So uh, yeah, let me jump into the exact things you need to make this. And uh, yeah, this is actually relatively easy. I can't wait to use this for early spring fishing using small little lures small little bait like maybe I'll thread on to a uh, soft plastic swim bait or a grub tail and let's go go to town man and uh, let me show you a different version that I tried as well I actually made a hook on the back right here this is actually my first version right here I did this and I was like eh, it doesn't look like it's gonna hold the lure that well anyway because the way it bent so I stuck to this one here with screw lock kind of way and it doesn't look like it's gonna hold as well. So I'm still trying to figure out the best way to have a lower hold on here. And I think the best way to do that is just super glue, okay? So anyway, let's get this tutorial started. Things you will need. If you guys like eyes, get some eyes. Got some round split shot. None of that gator split shot. This is just pure round split shot, okay? Give you guys a close up, take a look, just like that. This is gonna be the weight of the lure. Aberdeen hooks, this from VMC. Size one. You need some beads, plastic beads, metal beads, glass beads, whatever beads you like. Some wire here, 0 0.03 inch diameter and six inch. Of course you don't need six inch long. All your wire bending tool kits, you know there. That one right there to make round loops. This is to make uh, adjustment and also sharp uh, bends. Wire cutter, hammer. And a hard flat surface, and I use basically my, um, this is pe the pedestal of my vise. So I'll show you exactly what you need to use that for in a bit. Can't forget the propellers. Super glue is awesome, but uh, I suggest the thick kinds of gel control from Loctite, but I ran out, so um, I'm gonna deal with this today. Okay, the first thing, what you wanna do is take a hook, okay, now, and get a wire. You gotta make a weird bend at first. We need to get this thing in here, just like this, right? And then bend this whole thing over. And I want to have enough room to work with it, so I'm about to estimate just about like that. So take that out, and you can just use the regular pliers if you want. No big deal. Okay, so back to this. The goal is to get this thing in here, up the shank, just like that. See that? You want that just like that. And now we need to figure out exactly how we get this thing on here. And the best way I found to do this is hockey stick, right? Hockey stick. Take your hockey stick, crimp exactly right there. Well, I'm gonna back up just a little bit more because I want some some working space. Uh, let's do a totally 90 degrees bend. About 90 degrees bend right here. Okay. Now, same thing. Take this. This time you take this from this end. Get it from the bottom all the way in. See that? Halfway there. Halfway there. Now, from here, you take your pliers. Hold on very tight, very tight. And rotate it right around your hook. point okay we don't need this part right here so let's we'll trim that off okay partially there partially there next we take this weight here and what you want to do is kind of pry it open a little bit. If you've got fingernails or you have another tool like a screwdriver, that works a lot better. But as you see, when I pry it open, there's some 
debris of lead. You want to free some of those. Okay, I want you to take this side right here and just kind of, kind of just round it off just a little bit. Okay. Okay. Now, take this. This is where you clamp it, just like a chicken head. Okay. Now, you don't want to pinch it down all the way. Very, not very hard yet. Just get it on. Align it really well. What you want to do is, you want to pinch this down. And guys, it's okay to have these right here. See these ridges from the, the needle nose pliers? It's okay. Pinch it down. Okay. If you don't like those, this is where you take this pedestal right here and take your hammer and just slightly hammer that on that side. Get on that side. And as you see, it got a lot flatter. And uh, if you didn't use the pliers to squeeze on very tight, this is how you do it, okay? Now I see those creases right there. Take the super glue right here, liquidy super glue. And get it right into the crease, okay? And I'm just gonna clamp this onto my, and you guys probably can't see it well enough, but I clamp it to my vise right there. Just let it dry for now as I screw this cat back on. But yeah, you want it to dry before you continue working with that. So I could actually make a few more of these and just let it sit and chill. Next, we need to make the bend to hold the propeller. As you see, this propeller is in line with my hook point. Because you're having this bend right here, what happened is that this weight right here is gonna hold the lure down this way but if you put it in line, it might twist all over the place. So that is why you have that bend right there. So let's make this bend up here. Let's have it a little past the barb. I like this one. This one looks like it's a little bit below. One of my first prototypes. So let's take this guy right here. And you can see the point is right there. And also, you want to figure out how you want your angle. Right now, my angle right here is, it's like this. I might want to angle up just a little bit more. Just a little bit. There we go. Okay. So from here, let's re-measure this. I want it right there. Rotate. And bend. Look at that. Just above, just a little bit. And let's fine tune this a little bit more because I want it kind of straight. These wires are great. You could bend it back in place and make sure it runs straight as well. I'll we'll rotate this just a little bit this way. And this looks like it needs to go this way a little bit. It looks pretty tuned to me, uh, at least from my eyes. But uh, you gotta run it into water to exact, see exactly where it goes, if it goes right or left. But so far, by the naked eye, it looks kinda okay. It might need to twist just a little bit, but let's not go into details. You guys can fine tune yours, but with these light wires, you can fine tune it very easily. Next up you want to do is take a bead. I have a lot of different types of fishing beads here. They're floating, fluorescent, glowing. Whatever you guys want. I will stick with a bright fluorescent one. So get one of those red ones. Very classy. And let's put that there and let's take a look. Make sure it stays. And if it doesn't stay, you can add a little super glue and slide it down right there. But it looks like it stays for me. And it'll be perfect for me. Next thing you want to do, put your propeller in here. Just like that. And if you want, you can put another bead in. Double bead it. I think I'm gonna double bead it because it looks fancier. Just like that. I like to make my jig hooks to circle this way because it's more streamlined going through water. So make sure you align it this way. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this and put it down. That's that's kind of where I want that. So I want to go up just a little bit and crimp down very hard. Rotate. Okay. I made my bend all the way around. And the next thing you want to do, actually bend this back just a little bit. 
because you want that eye to be more centered. See this eye right here? When you tie the line, it's right there, and you want that kind of the top center here, want to kind of align it right there. So that's why I bent this back just a little bit. Once you do that, that means you gotta bend this guy a little bit more so that you have a better way of wrapping your wire. And that is done there. Pinch down really hard. Wrap this bad boy around. And there we go. Take my wire cutter. So guys, this is technically it. Now, if you want to put eyes, you have your eyes right here. All you have to do is dab some glue, some super glue on top of here. Just put the sticky eyes on top. Flip it to the other side, do the same thing, and let it dry and it should be good. But in this case, I'm not gonna do it for this one. I'm actually gonna paint this with some powder paint and see how that goes. And boom, there you have it. Painted green. Looks great, eh? I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If so, please give me a like. I'll be taking this out very soon. The winter is going away. This is going to be a springtime color searching for fish in shallow waters. I'll be throwing this with small swim bait and grub tails, catching crappies, bass, pickerels, you name it. And if you guys are new to my channel, please consider subscribing as you'll be seeing me fish with this. And guys, if you actually saw that original picture in the beginning, you guys want to make one of those, leave me a comment below as well. Thank you for watching. Until next time, tight lines.